I created these custom beautiful looking blog post images using WordRocket and you can do so for completely free. As you can see here, we've included the GPT image API into WordRocket so you can implement your own API key and create unlimited images. You can create realistic looking images, you can create blog post images, and you can create infographics where all of the text and images look really, really good. So as you can see from these examples, you have some beautiful images and a variety of different types of images in which you can create. So the way that it works is you just want to go ahead and click on the blog post image generator template, and then you want to enter in your open AI API key because we are using GPT image, um, that model, you need to enter in your API key to be able to use this template. Getting your API is very easy. Just head over to platform.openai.com. Then you want to hit the settings. And once you're in settings, then you head over to API keys. And then you just go ahead and create a new secret API key, copy over that API key, head back over to WordRocket and paste in your API key. Keep in mind, if it's your first time generating images with the API, you may need to verify your organization. So to know if you need to verify your organization, head over to Playground, so playground.openai.com. And then you can use the Playground with the API. So this is where you can generate text. If you click on the images, this is where you can generate images within the API using platform.openai.com. So essentially using the playground mode. And if you can generate images in this section, then you don't need to verify your organization. If you do need to verify, then there will be a prompt for you to verify your organization. And once you verify it, then you can actually use the API. So very, very important that you test this out to make sure you can actually um, generate images because once you verify, then of course you can use it. But if you don't verify, you won't be able to use your API. Key. Once that's all set up, now it's time to generate your images. And there's two main ways in which you can generate your images. The first way is by just inserting your blog post up to 5,000 words, and then we will intelligently create prompts based upon those um, blog posts and based upon the number of images in which you choose. Or you can custom uh, go ahead and, and insert your prompts. You can insert your prompt for images as many as up to 10 images as you like, just insert the actual custom prompt, and then we'll use that prompt to create the image. So either way works well, and you can choose whichever way you want to work. I like to generate the images from the blog post content. So I'm going to go ahead and copy over a blog post, and I'm going to paste it into this article. This article is about the tariff war with Canada and the United States. And I'm just going to paste in that content. And now I can choose the amount of images in which I like. So I want to do four images. I want to generate a cover image. I'm going to do it in landscape mode. I like to keep the image quality to high. You can actually even create content with a transparent background if you like, but I just like to keep that as auto. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and generate images. So once we click generate images, first, what we're going to do is we're going to generate the image prompts based on your content. So based upon your blog post, we're going to go ahead and create those four prompts. Well, it'll be five because one will be a blog post cover image. It's going to take some time so do be a little bit patient. Even when you generate images within the API mode, it takes a little bit of time. So just give it some time, go do something else and then come back and you'll see your images will be generated. The first image has been generated, the tariff war mortgage impact calculator. So this is the cover image. What I'll probably do is I'll probably add a section here. We can add in the title of the article because in that way we can use that title for the actual cover image. But overall, this is a great image, right? It looks good. The numbers look fine. Um, the text is readable. It's a solid image. So we can actually go ahead and see the prompt here as well. Create a highly re realistic cover image for a blog post title, da, da, da. And then you see the actual prompt there. So pretty good cover image. So we're off to a good start. Now here is the first image in which it created a hyper realistic illustration of a construction site affected by tariff imposed cost increases. So tariff arising, and then we can see that it's more of an illustration. I don't really like that type of image. So I will probably amend the prompt to just make things a little bit more um, realistic and not an illustration type image. With all of the images, you can click on the download icon. And as you can see, it's going to be downloaded into PNG format and you can go ahead and um, do as you like with this image. Here is an infographic in which we get back. Let's again go ahead and download this image. How tariffs influence mortgage rates. As you can see, this is a beautiful image. This looks really, really good. It talks about inflation, recession, and how that can um, affect your mortgage rate. So this is a really nice, nice image. I like this a lot. 
And here's the last image in which we get back. And this is more of a conceptual artwork. So right now we're just kind of showing the types of images in which we can create. But as the blog post um, generator continues to develop, we'll probably make it a little bit more specific. So you can choose what type of image you like. But as you can see, here are the different types of images in which you can get back. And what I like is that everything looks good. Like the words look good and everything is very readable. Now here is the last image in which we get back a realistic map of Canada highlighting major urban centers like Toronto, indicating foreign investment and housing market pressure due to currency fluctuations. So this actually looks like a really nice image. Let's go ahead and download this image as well. And this is really, really good. So I like this, right? This is awesome. This goes really well with a blog post. And as you can see, this is something that makes your blog post stand out. So if you're including images within your blog post, and they're also including HTML elements that I recommended, like what we have included within this article, or creating custom charts, this takes your article from looking like this, so this is what the actual article will look like with the images embedded. As you can see, it just looks really, really nice. It breaks up the content and it gives a nice visual effect to your actual article. I definitely recommend checking out the blog post image generator. It's really, really good and we will continue to make it better and continue to have you be able to do more customized outputs and get the best possible images for your blog post. But it's a great addition to some of the other existing templates in which we have. So again, now you have the ability to generate images. You also have the ability to generate custom HTML elements, internal links, and use your own API key. It's much, much more affordable than any other AI writing tool in the market. And the output quality is really, really good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care.